Hey everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shea and thank you for joining me for another soap making video. You will be pleased to hear that in this bucket today I have got my classic olive oil. I have done away with that pomace. It's, I've got two more tins under the counter here but I'm going to work out something else to do with those um, tins of olive oil. I'm certainly not using them in my batter. That pomace oil along with the heat that we've been experiencing I am sure is what has contributed to me having so much trouble with this recipe because in the cooler months it works really really well. Because today I'm doing a floral fragrance that was even more of a decision for me to go ahead and go and get that classic olive oil. We are doing Pretty Little Poppies and it's an aroma fragrance which has notes of mandarin, pink peppercorn, violet hawthorn and on a base of vanilla and red rose. It does have 1.2% vanillin but I am going to be doing a red base with a black and gold drop swirl through it. So let's go and get this one started. So I'm going to pour my lye water solution down my stick blender just to avoid any splashback and then I'm going to mix to an emulsion before splitting out for my colour. colors in here. I have actually pre-mixed these with some oil out of my batter because I am working with that floral. I wanted the minimal mixing time just to make sure that I am not getting this too thick before adding that fragrance just in case it does trace because that's what florals are known to do. So in here I have some really red mica from Nurture Soap which I've dissolved as I said with some of the oils from my soap batter. And then in this other little pot over here, I have some activated charcoal, which again has been dissolved in some of the, or mixed up with some of the oils from out of my batter. So I'm going to pour all of that into that pot so we get some really nice black swirls. So what I'm going to do now is mix these colors in and then I am going to hand stir my fragrance in. is put it into my red and see how the red actually behaves if it starts to thicken up I'm just going to pour all of it into my red and then drop swirl the black unfragranced into my mold it is appearing to be behaving so far I always manage to jink myself but so far that actually feels like it's come up a little bit thinner so I will reserve I'll pour just a tiny bit more in I'll reserve the rest of that for the black but just to be on the safe side, what I'm going to do now, in fact, that really has actually thinned that batter out. So that's really nice. So I've been looking for a floral fragrance to do another project I've got in mind. So this may be one of them because I need a floral that keeps my batter nice and fluid. Just get my spatula cleaned off there. I'm just going to go and grab my mold. I'm going to start by pouring the red just in case it does decide to set up quickly on me while I do the black. I'm going to pour that to, oh it's about halfway full. I'm going to grab my black here. I am going to pour the rest of that fragrance in there and give it a good stir. Alright, and the other colour I'm going to add into this just to give it a little bit of pizzazz is in my pot here I have some extravagance gold mica from my micro obsession and I again have mixed that up in a little bit of oil there and I am going to drop it into my black get as much of that out as I possibly can because I don't want to waste any of it Give that a quick stir. That's looking really nice. You don't want to muddy it too much into the black, so that should be enough there. And I am now just simply, oh, that is still nice and fluid. I am just going to drop swirl this 
through my red. super impressed with this fragrance oil despite it being a floral it has stayed really nice and fluid so I am really looking forward to seeing what swirls we get out of this one just going to scrape this red one out and then I am going to come back and do the top Right, the first thing I'm going to do on top of this soap is add a little bit of extra colour. And what I have here is some chartreuse mica from my micro obsession. And I have my little tea strainer. I'm just going to pour some into my tea strainer here. And I am going to do a green mica line over the top of this soap. this week's behind the scene video you would have seen that we were piping all of these little poppies so I'm going to decorate the top of them with just randomly placed poppies so some of these will end up getting cut but most of these will end up with full poppies on the bars so I'm just going to start randomly placing them I'm going to make sure that they push into the top of the soaps so that they do stick as well now, I absolutely love poppies poppies are actually my auntie's favorite flower and um, she's one of my aunties who is overseas so whenever I see poppies I always think of her but for some reason when I was a child and I don't know if anyone else ever experienced such a weird thing if ever I went near poppies and I smelt poppies I always ended up with a nosebleed it was really really odd I don't do it anymore the poppies don't seem to affect me that way but whatever it was about poppies the minute I got near them and they came close to my nose I would end up with a nosebleed has anyone else ever experienced that with that or any other flowers and I'm not talking hay fever because I know that um, a lot of people do react to flowers in terms of hay fever but this was just a really bizarre thing of giving me a nosebleed so really really odd but I'd be interested to know if anyone else has ever experienced that sort of reaction to any flower to leave this just like that but I've decided that it probably really does need a few little um, leaves to go on there just to really bring it up and off oh off the base there may still be just a little bit too soft here but we are going to give it a go I have got a leaf tip of in my piping bag here and I'm just going to add some leaves onto it and as you saw I actually did, because it was such a, a last minute decision to add some leaves into this, I did that heat transfer method of um, making some soap. I am really liking that method for doing some last minute alterations to soaps or if I decide that I need a, a little project. I don't think I'd ever use it to do a big bar of soap with. I think um, for me, it's just a little bit too risky at this stage. Maybe in a couple of years' time, once I've got a few more soaps under my belt, I may give it a go at doing my bigger soap batches like that. But for now, I'm quite happy just whipping up these little sort of batches of soap for last minute ideas using that heat transfer method. Right, 
so just while I'm finishing piping these leaves on the top because this has really brought this together now I have a question for you guys every so often I put an order in with one of the overseas supply places usually I wait until our dollar is a little bit better but it really is not improving at all and hasn't improved for quite some time so I've just figured oh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway so I have decided the company I would actually like to place my overseas order with this time is going to be Nature's Garden. So what I would like to know from you guys is which fragrance oils that Nature's Garden do would you like to see me attempt to make a soap with and interpret it into a soap pattern. Now if you are a soap maker please be kind please don't pick fragrance oils that you know are going to accelerate and misbehave um, it is a big expense for me to get them in from overseas um, so I really would like some that behave nicely and perform really well um, I have got already in my cart the black licorice because I really want to have a go at that one I really do like black licorice and I just think the fragrance oil sounds amazing so if you have any suggestions for fragrance oils that I should try or any that you just want to see my interpretation of a soap for leave them down in the comments section below I'm going to be picking about 10 of them and then once I get them in, so it won't be for, the soaps won't start to appear on the channel for a couple of months, but once I get them in, I will start making soaps with them. So I'd really love your input into which fragrance oils I should try, because I honestly can't decide. I've got, I've been through it so many times. I've got so many on my wish list. So I just thought you guys would be able to tell me. Alright, so I am a bit happier with that now and with all of those leaves that are on here. I coloured my batter with chartreuse, so the colour of the leaves will change just slightly. What I am going to do just to very quickly finish this one off, I have here, I just got this in this week from Aussie Soap Supply, some holographic biodegradable glitter. And I am just going to give it a really light sprinkle over the top. I say light but I'm never very good at sprinkling it off the spoon I just haven't got around to putting these into one of my glitter pumps yet so we'll just finish that off down here give that a bit of a blow because I threw a whole heap there okay so as one last thing before I bring you down for a closer look I'm just going to give it a quick spritz with some rubbing alcohol just to seal all of that in and then I will bring you down so here is Pretty Little Poppies up close. It is really, really pretty. It's very, very sparkly with all that eco glitter on there. It is smelling amazing. I am so super impressed with this fragrance oil at this point. And I will be able to tell you more as this sets overnight. I am going to force gel this one just to make sure that that red and that black really pop and stand out when we get it cut tomorrow. So I'm going to leave this one sit overnight and I'll be back to cut it in the morning. So here is Pretty Little Poppies. You can see all of that eco glitter just shining on the top. It is smelling really nice. I did wrap this up in towels and covered it with some cardboard just to try and get that red to really darken up and to get the black to really turn into black. So let's see what we've got on the inside of Pretty Little Poppies. I am going to cut the end of this off and make a little sample piece so that we can get some nice cut edges on either end of our soap bars so let's go because there's no botanicals or anything on the top of here i can put this on to my cutter correctly and know that nothing's going to drag through we are going to go through and some of these are going to have little pieces of poppies um some will have whole poppies as well by the looks of things but they'll all have that sort of feel of poppies going through it we are almost all the way through, there we go. And let's take a look at the inside. So we'll get rid of our little sample piece first and we'll grab this one from off the end. So that one's actually got three pieces of poppy and it's really nice and shiny. And that 
is the inside. I love doing my mica drop swirl like this where I drop it into one of the colors, stir it in and then you know pour it in. I seem to get really really nice veins of mica doing it that way as opposed to the other way of actually just pouring it straight into the mold. It is also a lot less messy doing it that way. I think force gelling this has really helped to get those colors to really come together. I am loving that piece the way it's really drop swirled through that one with all those little pieces of mica. That side's really pretty too. I am so super happy with this. I was expecting this fragrance oil to actually accelerate on me being that um, that sort of floral base but it has behaved so well we've got those beautiful swirls so if you are here in Australia and you are looking for a floral to have a go at give this pretty little poppies from aroma a go because you can get some really nice effects from it and that's that piece there oops and grab this next one there you go so I hope you have enjoyed watching me make my pretty little poppies soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And don't forget, if you have got in mind any nature's garden fragrances you would like me to have a go at making, leave them down in the comments section below because I will be picking about 10 of them to order in and make some soaps in the coming months. If you are new around here and you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel and if you hit the little bell sign, it will let you know the next time I bring a soap making video to you. So until the next video, I hope you all have a great week and thank you again for subscribing and for supporting me on my journey. See you later. Bye.